This is what I have to work with, and let me show you why I picked this up. I um, thought this would be a good starting point for a gun, like a handle. I mean, it's perfect shape and everything. But then I saw this other pieces that I could use. If you look along here, try to get a shot back. This almost looks like a, uh, a rifle here. It's pretty cool. So, I'm not going to bring this um, disgusting thing into my house. I'll chop it up and um, throw away this ugly looking cushion. And I got two of these chairs, so I'll chop all the wood up, cut it up, and s save what I think I might be able to use. And there's a lot of a lot of very interesting pieces here, shapes, that I can use for other projects. But who knows if this thing has like, I don't know, bugs in it or anything. It looks pretty nasty or termites, whatever, but... So I'll just cut it out. I usually like just let it sit outside in the sun for a while and paint it outside also, which in my opinion kind of seals seals up all the yuckiness to it. Okay, so I got a um, length of pipe that was uh, sitting outside and I thought it had a nice age to it. So I cut it in three pieces and I clamped it together because I'm going to make a um, triple barrel. So, um, this is galvanized, so I don't really weld galvanized because it's, it's not good for you. So I just gave it a quick tack weld and I'm going to, just to hold it in place, and then I'll bolt it down to the barrel, uh, to the, to the gun. So now, I'm going to take this, this was the one, the back leg. So I'll, I'm going to glue two of these together and, and cut them down, somehow position the barrel in there. And then, um, for the handle, for the grip, I'm going to use this. I'll cut this down also, and so I have that same detail on each side. I'm going to um, try to cut these in half this way, both of them, and then glue them together. So we get this, whoops, I dropped it. <laughs> this piece was just cut off. And then I took a chisel and cut this back off of there. So then I'll, um, I think I'm going to put this here, this piece under here, and then have the handle like that, something like that. So I'm going to go and glue these pieces together and see if that's going to work. Alright, so I, this is um, glued and I also put a screw in the bottom and to attach the handle um, I always save the extra chopsticks that we get and I just cut a little bit off of the chopstick and drilled a hole in this piece and here and so I'll just put some glue on that glue that together and then when that dries, I'll work on figuring out how I'm going to attach this. So this is all glued together. Also, I've added some screws, which I'll have to um, cover and fill in because they're Phillips screws type that I always find that I use because they're free. Um, so I'll have to disguise them some way. And then also I need to find a way to put the barrel on and then just add a bunch of different things that I have lying around. I don't really have enough to do this gun so I'll have to look around and see what I have. Um, these are drawer poles. Uh, just different pieces like, like some things that I thought I might have are too big. Or, so I don't know. Anyway, this is good for now. I'll let this sit overnight and then I'll fill it in fill in the screws and then um, probably mock it up and then paint it. 
I have some leftover paint um, from a project in the house. It's called French porcelain. So I don't. I've never done this before, but I'm going to use that as a base. Um, just paint it on there, and then go from there. See what see what it looks like. Um, it's probably not going to work, but well, I'm going to give it a try. So while the paint is drying on the, the uh, gun, I'm going to be just using some of this craft paint um, to paint the uh, just different parts that I'm going to put on the gun. I have this piece that was from a curtain rod, and I have these drawer, drawer pull decorations. And also I was thinking of maybe, because the barrel is going to look kind of too too grungy now so I was thinking to maybe paint some gold on the barrel and then just kind of brush it off just so it has a you know it doesn't look gold but just has a little tint to it so I'll work on that while this is dry drying Well, here's my finished gun. Um, this cost me nothing to build. Everything was either found in the trash or, like for example, today we went to the beach and I got a, um, a few seashells that I just used crazy glue to put on there. Um, that was a big part of the Rococo style was shells. And let's see, it's a triple barrel. So I kind of built this with the mind that this would be like a musketeer's um, flintlock. And see, everything, drawer pulls are on here, coat, coat hook. This is apart from a bicycle. These are like little latches for a sweater. Those I found in a sewing box that thrown, someone threw away. This was also in that same sewing box. I don't even know what that's from. Um, Again, like I said, seashells. This was a like a brass button that was also in there, um, and this was I. This was from a curtain rod. So again, this cost nothing to build, and I am very happy with it.